Hi, I'm Jeff. In this video, we're going to look at the Mirror Tool, which is part of FreeCAD's Part Design Workbench. If you'd like to support the channel, you could buy me a coffee through the link in the description below. Now let's have a look at the Mirror Tool. The Mirror Tool allows you to mirror a pad or a pocket around a plane. We're going to look at how this works today. I'm using FreeCAD version 0.19 built on the 3rd of August 2020 for this demonstration. For this demonstration, I'm going to create a solid object and then I'm going to create a pocket in that object. Once I've done that, I'm going to mirror it around a couple of planes and then I'm going to construct a datum plane which is on an angle to show you that you can actually mirror around a non-base plane. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the part design workbench. I'm going to create a new model and a body and a sketch. And this is going to be on the XY plane. And this is really just going to represent the block that I'm going to put the pockets in. I'm going to make it symmetric. Oops. I'm going to make it symmetric about the center point, and I'm going to do that using a symmetric constraint by pressing the S key. I'm not going to worry about the length or the width of the, the block because for this example it doesn't matter. I am going to switch to an isometric view and then I'm going to pad the block out to be 75 millimeters. Then we will fit it into view using the view fit or pressing the VF keys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a datum plane and on that datum plane I'm going to create a sketch. The reason that I'm doing this is to try and avoid any complications with the topological naming problem because what happens is when you create a pocket it changes the names of the faces and other subsequent operations may fail. In the top right corner you'll find a link to a video describing the topological naming problem. So I'm going to select the top face and then create a datum plane. I'm going to disconnect the datum plane from the face. And then with the datum plane selected, I'm going to create a sketch. So I'm just going to create a slot in the solid for this demonstration. I'm not going to constrain the slot because it doesn't really matter. As long as it fits within the the block then we're fine. In this case it hasn't so we'll just switch back to this sketch and we will move it into a position where I can then create a pocket from it. Might just fiddle with it make it a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to use the pocket tool and create a pocket that is 50 millimeters deep using the dimension type and then turn off the datum plane. Now the mirror tool will allow you to mirror across the vertical or horizontal sketch axis and if you have your pocket or pad on an angled plane you can also mirror across the, the base XZ, XY and ZX planes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the pocket and then I'm going to initiate the mirror tool and what it's done in this case is it has selected the vertical sketch axis as the axis it's going to mirror around. And as you see, it has created this pocket down at the bottom. So I'm going to click OK for that. A limitation of this particular tool is that you cannot mirror a mirror. And so what I would like to be able to do is mirror 
those two pockets using mirror tool but it doesn't allow me to so what it means is that I cannot replicate these two slots on the other side the closest I can come using this tool is to reselect the first pocket apply another mirror but switch to the horizontal sketch axis and as you can see it is put on the other side but we can't fill this hole in the bottom here you would need to use the multi transform feature to put the slots in each of the four corners you can also mirror a pocket or a pad around a datum plane and that gives you some flexibility in what you can do so for starters what I'm going to do is create a simple vertical datum plane move it into position and then mirror the pocket around that so we'll create the plane on the vertical face and then what we'll do is we will move it into position by changing its Y coordinate We'll just switch the top view so we can just see what's happening. When I accept that, I can now do the mirroring. So I select my original pocket, I click on the mirror tool, and then I select the reference that I want to mirror around, and that will be the datum plane that I just created. And as you can see, it has mirrored it precisely around the datum plane. So what happens when we change the Y coordinate of the datum plane? So I'm just going to change that by scrolling my mouse wheel and when I press enter to accept that change you'll see that the pocket moves with it. If I do it again, move it back, you can see that it moves with the datum plane. And this gives you some flexibility because it means you can mirror the pad or the pocket and adjust it according to your needs. And following on from that, you can then mirror around a datum plane that is not vertical or horizontal. You can change the angle and its position in space relative to whatever face you want and then you can mirror around that. So let's try that and see what happens. So I'm going to switch back to a isometric view. I'm also going to switch to wireframe view so we can see a little bit of what's happening within the model because you may not see it happening on the surface. So I'm going to select the datum plane and then for starters we're just going to change the angle that it is at and I'll just change that using the mouse wheel. When I accept that, you'll notice that the mirror changed. Similarly, if I go the other way, using my mouse wheel, oops, going the wrong way. And then we'll switch back to a as is view. You can't see it, obviously, but you obviously can, you can see it in wireframe. If we then change the Y position and accept that, you'll see it moves further and further across. And if we go back to the as is view, you can see it's moved, it's on an angle. And what happens if we go a little bit further? You can see that it starts to punch out the other side. So we'll just move it back a little bit. Similarly then if we change the axis definition of the plane, we should see something occur as well. And in this case you can see it is mirrored it at an angle. And, and at an angle in two directions by the looks of it. So 
you can see that it's actually quite a powerful tool. It allows you to mirror parts around planes as you see fit. Well, I hope you found that interesting. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, you could buy me a copy through the link in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.